Oreo crust cheesecake. Only a few ingredients, cookies, powdered sugar, cream cheese over there, melted butter, vanilla and chocolate. And let's get started. We need to make this into fine crumb and for that you will need your food processor. And I'm going just to crush the cookies quickly and process it until it's smooth and then add the butter. Add the butter, right? Yep. You can do the both. Um, but do we got what? We just buy a motorcycle. And you want to make sure there are no uh, coarse crumbs in this uh, cookie crust. So it's, it, it looks ready. I'm just going to continue uh, mixing with, um, and add the butter at the same time. You will need one of these uh, spring form pans and this one is 8 inch. So you're going to, instead of uh, placing this one the right way, you're going to turn it down because that way your cake will slide out even um, easier. Okay, so it's ready and the crumb is ready. This will go directly to the pan and with the help of everything it's the best part of that cheesecake so you don't want to leave anything in the processor so this is here and using either your hands or one of these measuring cups you're going to kind of uh, press it on the bottom of the pan just as even as possible and just like so As you can see, this is nice and firm, and I'm going to place this into the freezer until we make the this filling. Is good. I guess I fell out. I guess that's the one I guess I'm. One of its eyes fell out. <laughs> <And> I... <laughs> For the filling, I've got my cream cheese. Make sure it's room temperature so it mixes. Arka, can you? Okay, so cream cheese at room temperature. Uh, powdered sugar needs to be sifted and he, and he found a new sweet uh, dessert for him instead of sugar now he's using powdered sugar anyways we're going to sift in some uh, powdered sugar a little bit vanilla and I really like this uh, cheesecake with some uh, lemon juice fre fresh lemon juice but I promised my daughter I'm not gonna put the lemon juice because she yeah. doesn't like it I will put that in a recipe, so if you like lemon, um, that a little bit tangy taste and it's really nice with cheesecakes. Anyway, you can just go uh, by recipe. I need the one. So I'll sift this in vanilla and it will mix until it's smooth and creamy mixture. I'm a superhero! A teaspoonful of vanilla. And this is mixing about super as long as it needs to mix and become I'm smooth. Three to four minutes or less than that. It's a crazy cut. As you see, this is nice and smooth now, and I stopped and scraped two times. So to this, we're going to add some heavy cream and we're adding heavy this slowly. Cream, eh? Mixing and adding. Let's go. Crazy sugar. Yeah. It's delicious cheesecake. Yeah. It's your little eh? Yeah. to have a really smooth and creamy mixture for uh, this uh, cheesecake. I'm just going to uh, scrape this once and then mix it on high speed a couple of minutes and don't over mix. And I already melted some chocolate and I'm going to crush a few Oreo cookies just to sprinkle um, in between the layers. So this will mix about a minute or so on high speed and I'm going to crush this. So. 
this is nice and firm, the mixture is ready. We're going to pour half of it. And you can, if you like to add the entire thing and make it your way, it's, it's fine. I, I like making these two layers. Uh, one vanilla and the other one chocolate. So just eyeball it. Half of it. Yes. And we're going to mix in the chocolate in the other mixture. You want to mix do something instead of talking that much, yeah? You want to mix? Yeah. Okay, so he'll mix the chocolate into this other half. Other half? Yes, other half. Alright. No, no, no. Don't, don't eat that. You don't like it. It's nice, Okay. Okay, mix. Mix helper. Alright, so I'm going to kind of gently... Oh, no. Clean. No, clean. This one? Which one? You're gonna eat that? No? Mm, delicious. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is a um, very quick and easy process, as you can see, if you don't have anyone who makes you clean things once in a while. So this is goes here. And this is, again, optional. If you like extra layer of um, cookies in the center, in the middle of the cake, that's up to you. I, I did make one without this. The cookies and I'm gonna show you that later and this one I just decided to add a little bit more um, Oreo because the kids in, in fact they really like the crust part the most for that cheesecake so the more cookies the better taste they say are you done mixing or cut? yeah no you're not Of course the chocolate will go on top the chocolate layer and I'll put this in fridge a couple of minutes while uh, while I make the ganache. So that's the process. It's really quick and easy process. The thing is you'll have to wait a couple of hours and normally I wait overnight so it can freeze sit and uh, free, uh, freeze properly. You want to have as smooth, uh, the surface has to be as smooth as possible. So I'm going to pop this in the fridge while I make the ganache. Ganache, you no, make your no, ganache as no. you would you normally no. do, huh? It's Disney apple. Yeah, that's Disney apple. Okay, so I have very hot, um, heavy cream. I'm going to pour that over my chocolate and butter and let it sit probably two to three minutes until it Delicious. kind of melts. And I'm going to mix this into smooth ganache Mom. mixture to Mom, pour Mom. over the cheesecake, huh? Mom. It's coming to the signs of ventures. Yeah. It's the cookie features. You're going to do it, eh? Yeah. This is the cup. Let's watch it, okay? Okay. This is what cup. Let's watch it first. And then let's watch it, eh? Yeah. The ganache was the last step and you just pour it over the cake. Let it sit in a fridge about five to eight hours. Normally I would leave this overnight. And of course using a warm knife and I just use regular uh, um, water. Just make sure the knife is nice and warm so it cuts through very evenly and smooth. This is how it's gonna look nice and chocolatey and again if you prefer just white uh, filling don't use the chocolate or if you want all chocolate it, it's up up to your taste so I hope you guys um, check the recipe first of all I hope you try to make this and if you have any questions comments I'm always happy to hear from you so that's it the recipe link uh, in the description or check out helene.com thank you so much for watching and please subscribe